tornado. We need to hold back and see how this thing develops. Okay? We got out there and started our operations before the tornado was over. We'd be in trouble. Then we need somebody to come save us. So we'd hunker down till it went by and then had to go out and assess the damage. Waiting would be hard because I know uh, people are in some dire straits at the time, but we're not any good to anybody dead. Okay. All right, listen up, people. First and foremost, I need all the hospitals to activate their disaster plans immediately. I need fire and rescue on high state of readiness right now. One of my long-standing concerns has been a tornado hitting a venue packed with people. Having 50, 70, 100,000 people packed in here. You're going to have a lot of disaster happening just in one place. Then it happens. Horizontal rolling air is tilted toward the ground by a strong downdraft from the supercell. This is the moment the super tornado is born. A powerful vortex of spinning air that is only visible because of the moisture from the clouds inside it. Objects in high winds would be almost like shrapnel from a bomb. A 300 mile an hour wind armed with debris becomes an unstoppable force destroying everything in its path. on the Earth's surface that can be seen from space. When the mega tornado hits Dallas, if it's a mile and a half wide, it will actually cover the entire downtown area from one end to the other. On this path, the super tornado would destroy two hospitals, 44 schools, three stadiums, and 35,000 homes. And the math on it is pretty easy. That's about 56,000 people actually living there. It's about 220,000 people actually working there. Wrapped around $12 billion of downtown Dallas real estate are 20 miles of freeway with over 200,000 vehicles in rush hour traffic, now caught in the super tornado's path. Oh, God, oh, God. 
out of gas. I am with KB, but there's a big tornado somewhere. And um, okay, we are under 75 and Main Street West and L. I love you. Bye. Once the tornado hits downtown, there will be little anyone can do. You would see things like trees being uprooted. You'd see cars being lifted in the air. But you wouldn't see the ultimate horror. And the ultimate horror is when a tornado that size hits downtown Dallas, which is all glass. And then what you'll see is shards of glass going in every single direction. And that's deadly. All you'll hear is this roar. And then what happens is that these streets that you see around me become wind tunnels and cars will start to pass you by, the debris will start coming over you and around you. So what happens is it's like a rotating fog bank of flying debris. That makes finding shelter in a city of glass deadly. Get right into the middle of a skyscraper and your odds of surviving are good. But if you are caught anywhere near the windows, those odds go down to zero. These buildings are designed to lose the glass and save the frame inside. Unfortunately, people are inside these buildings when that happens, and wind will actually blow right on through the building, including the people, and take them out with it. people okay I'm sorry I'm late but we just got Doppler readings from the university putting the wind in this at 350 miles per hour this is unprecedented 350 miles an hour what does that uh, make us an F6 5 F6 doesn't really matter so long as people uh, know it's coming what are you doing where do you think you're going, James? You just hit the stadium. It's heading to the Dallas suburbs. Based on that, I reckon you got about 10 minutes before it hits downtown. What are you, out of your mind? You can't just leave, Dennis. James. You know better than to leave in the middle. My wife and kid are stranded. Do you have things covered here now? You're not leaving this building, James. Do you have things covered here now? Thank you very much. Okay. But leave right now. Yes. We'll be fine. Just make sure you drive parallel to the tornado. Good luck. The super tornado churns through downtown Dallas. The perfect disaster super tornado returns. Is there a safe place to survive a super tornado? Find out now. With 350 mile an hour winds, the damage this super tornado will cause is incomprehensible. I've seen where these projectiles are 100 miles an hour, go through, and they're 60 miles an hour on the outbound. I've seen a two by four in the middle of buildings that have come through several walls. It's almost like a domino effect of going through and churning through the city. As the tornado crashes into downtown, tearing up everything in its path, the only thing to do is try to get into a building. Failing that, get parallel to the tornado as it moves west to east. But you have to hope it doesn't change direction.
half of the mega tornado goes through downtown Dallas. It's going to go through the eastern part of the city, which is residential. And these houses that you see behind me are going to be leveled right to the ground. Nothing left. A safe room is the only thing that might save your life in winds of 350 miles per hour. Mom! Okay? Protected by eight inches of reinforced concrete, these emergency shelters are designed to withstand enormous pressures from the outside. As the super tornado grinds through the suburbs, it can end quickly. It actually ropes out. Now, when a tornado ropes out, it usually lingers a little bit on the ground. Maybe it gets sporadic in terms of its damage capability, and then lifts from the ground up. But there is a sting in the tail. For up to an hour, debris may still fall from the sky. Oh my God, it's all gone. They've never had anything like a mile and a half wide tornado. It would be far greater than anything that they've even dreamed of, and it would be totally devastating. It may take generations for the city to recover again. The super tornado may not happen today. It may not happen tomorrow. But one thing scientists are sure of is that it will happen one day. No amount of preparation can prevent extremes of nature. But what we learn from them is how best to limit the human suffering they cause.